And I don't think any of us mind that we saw less hurricanes this year. No uh, hurricanes or windstorms on the way this evening. In fact, the travel forecast for tomorrow, which of course is a huge travel day. It looks pretty good. There could be a few rough spots early tomorrow morning. We'll talk about that in just a second on live pinpoint Doppler 12 showing a few ocean effect snow showers out towards Plymouth County, Massachusetts and Cape Cod. That's pretty much it. Most of us not expected to see these snow showers overnight. I want to rewind the clock and show you this beautiful time lapse. This is from Newport Harbor earlier. Some clouds zooming across the sky as the sun started to set. You can see the lights coming on here in Fort Adams at the end of the loop. I'll let the loop go through one more time so you can see that. It's going to come up in a second, I promise. Watch the lights come on. There we go. All right, now we can move on from one nice scene to another. A beautiful night out here in Down City, Providence. It's a cold one, but at least we have good visibility and dry conditions. Providence, you're at 30 degrees. Gloucester, 26. Newport, 32. New Bedford at 28. And temperatures will not move very much tonight because of the increase in cloud cover. You can see those clouds right here. The system off to the west, not quite organized just yet. It's going to grab some moisture from the south, and that will give us the chance of some precipitation tonight through tomorrow morning. Now let's go hour by hour. The next several hours will be rain and snow free. So if you have plans maybe to head out to dinner, you're looking fine. As we go past midnight, especially after three, four, five o'clock in the morning, the chance of some rain showers mixed with some freezing drizzle, even some snow. Notice how everything is very scattered, but any of these little pink blips representing freezing drizzle that could slide through into our viewing area, Rhode Island, southeastern Massachusetts during the wee hours of tomorrow morning. Now, a lot of us are likely to not see this happen. However, because the potential is there, we did want to alert you to that possibility because if freezing drizzle catches you off guard, that's a bad situation if you're in your car. So use some caution early tomorrow morning. By late morning, say 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning, the temperature should be warm enough to change anything that's falling from the sky over to plain old rain. And then it's off and on rain showers possible throughout tomorrow afternoon. We're not talking about a washout, but the chance of some showers will be there with mostly cloudy skies. At least the temperatures will be milder than today. Check out these temperatures tomorrow, mid 40s with mostly cloudy skies. So we lose the sun tomorrow, but we gain about 10 degrees. 48 your high temperature in Charlestown tomorrow, 45 with a chance of some showers tomorrow in Hope Valley. Northern Rhode Island temperatures a little bit cooler, 44 in Burville, Foster at 44 degrees, Situate 44 with a light wind. Eastern Massachusetts, same thing with temperatures in the upper 40s here along the coast. New Bedford at around 48 degrees, Little Compton 48, and Seekonk at 46. Seven day future cast shows a slight chance of showers on Monday 47, but most of Monday it will not actually be raining. Still watching a potential system work its way through on Tuesday. At this point, this is favoring rain and not snow, but we need to get more information depending on the track of that storm. We will perhaps see a different precipitation type, but it's this point. No uh, major snow accumulating event looks likely on Tuesday, perhaps some gusty winds and we will keep you updated on that. All right, so it was a bad travel day on Wednesday with all that rain and again on a busy travel day. You just got to be watching out on the road. Just very early tomorrow morning, but most of tomorrow actually looks great and most of the uh, nation's airports also look in great shape. All right, Pete, thanks so much. Coming yep. up next on Eyewitness News at 6, Bryant and Brown both in action on the